Okay, on the fifth part of the mini course of acoustic, uh, for this acoustic mini course, what I'm going to show you are basically two chords, two different chords, a minor seventh and then a sus chord. And I'm going to show you how to play them. I'm going to show you four total different chords. Okay, but two of them are going to be minor sevenths, two of them are going to be sus chords. Okay. These are really cool chords and they're really not that hard to play. Okay, so don't be like, ah, oh, minor seventh, that sounds weird. No worries, it's not going to be hard. So let's start out with the E minor chord. Remember this? Okay, to make any minor chord into a minor seventh chord, you start with a minor chord and then you add the interval of a minor seventh. Don't worry if you don't know what that means because I'm going to show you how to play the chord. But just in case you're wondering, like, how do I turn a G minor chord into a minor seventh chord? Well, you just add a minor seventh. Okay. If I wanted to turn, you know, a C minor chord into a C minor seven, I would turn it, just basically add the minor seventh. So don't worry about that. What you need to know is if you take this minor E minor chord in open position like this. Okay. To make this chord a minor seventh chord, I need to add one note, and that's going to be the minor seventh, which is going to be here. Okay, so then I have this sound. Okay. cool. So that's that E minor 7th and I was just switching back to like a D kind of add 9 thing. But just going back from C, I mean sorry, from E minor 7, I was just an example of how you can use that chord. Now the other cool chord is this A minor 7th. All right. So what we're going to do is start with our A minor chord. Okay. Now to make this chord a minor 7th, all you need to do is lift up this finger. that sound. Okay, and that's going to sound great going over to a C chord as well. Check it out. Okay, so those are our two minor seventh chords in open position. Really important. Of course, you can play minor sevenths in a bar chord form anywhere on the fretboard, but I just wanted to show them to you in the open position because obviously this is kind of a beginner's course and I think this is probably the most important one to know as an acoustic guitarist because it uses the open strings. So E minor 7, A minor 7. All right, now let's look at two sus chords. Now a sus chord is basically going to be a, mm, it, it, it's a sus 2 chord and actually sus 4 chords as well, but we're not going to talk about those. We're just going to talk about sus 2s. Sus 2s, what you're doing is you're essentially replacing the third of the chord with the interval of a second. That's why it's called an. That's why it's called a sus two, because the interval of a second. Okay. So to make this chord, oh, and how you use it basically is anywhere you want to. Anywhere you have a chord that's either an A major or an A minor chord, you could use an A sus two. So if you have a tune that's like, it's got this old A major chord in it. We could easily just make it an A sus2, okay? And then wherever you have a D chord, you could easily make it a D sus2, okay? Now, let me show you how to play it. The A sus2, let's start out with our A major chord. Now, to make this a sus2, all I'm gonna do is lift up this finger and then let this B string ring out, and I've got, okay? And from A to B, that's that two, that interval of a two or a second that I was referring to earlier. Okay, it sounds really good. See, I'm going from A sus two to C. Okay, and again, I'm using this finger right here as my pivot note. Okay. So that's the A sus2 chord. Sounds really good. Anywhere you have an A minor chord or an A major chord, you can use A sus2. Now, finally, we have this D major chord, right? 
And to make it a sus chord or a sus2, all we do is drop out this note, raise his finger up, and we have E instead of F sharp, so it's going to sound like okay. Okay, I can go from e, you know D sus two maybe to a C. Or maybe a D sus two to an A chord. Or even an A sus two. How about D sus two to A sus two? Okay, so that is your E minor 7, A minor 7, A sus 2, and D sus 2. So some new chords for you to work on. Hope you enjoyed the mini course, and for more tips and tricks, you can always go to guitarzoom.com. I'm Dan Denley, and thanks for watching. <laughs>